Hello guys and welcome back to this episode recap of If Loving You Is Wrong Season 3 Episode 13. Oh, hanging in the balance. Y'all, I'm just going to take it from the top. Because Eddie about to kill Larry. He about to get dealt with. Oh, my goodness. All the pain that Eddie thought was going to be inflicted on him. Or everything that he thought was done to him when he was unconscious. He about to do take the pain out on Larry. He going to beat Larry to death. He done beat on Larry. He going to beat Larry to Larry. Can't see no more. That truck. Then I was trying to figure out where he was carrying Larry. I said, is he carrying him to a storage container? Then I said, no, they don't put him in a U-Haul truck. What kind of truck is that? No, nah, it wasn't no U-Haul truck. It was just some kind of Mac delivery truck. The truck rocking side to side. He beating Larry butt so bad. Hi, where he got this truck parked that, that can't nobody hear see this truck rocking side to side that get got curious or nothing. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, he he he, he gonna kill he gonna kill Paul Larry. <sighs> Let's get on Travis Pappy with this whole court. Cult organization he got going on down here at this church, running around everywhere, all over town. Now, uh, Larry do for a press release with the church, church folk and everybody else, all the media and all of this, want to know what's going on. And basically, they trying to push for um, Put the press conference they trying to push so Kelly can't get some type of bail or whatever. They crazy. These folks really crazy to me. So anyway. I hope Larry got on Find My iPhone or he got some AVG virus protector on his Android phone. <laughs> so Ian, somebody at the office can track him because if not, they ain't going to never find him. I'm surprised he didn't carry him down there to the swamp. And then Eddie asked him what all did he do to him. And, and Larry up there trying to get them vague, smart mouth answers. Man, you tied up in the back of the truck. And now ain't time to be being cocky or smart up in the doggone mouth. You best go on and uh tell this man what he want because he about to kill you. So uh, Randall, he's talking around. Waiting on Brad to be served like some idiot. And Brad can't be served because Larry... <laughs> uh, Larry held hostage and he was supposed to be sending some papers over to Ian, but he didn't even get the papers. So anyway, Randall, how is you walking around grabbing on people? How he be walking around grabbing on Alex? She she better go take some self defense classes or get her a doggone gun, cause that that ain't legal. You're not gonna be walking around grabbing on me. She better start calling nine one one when he be running up on her. You ain't gonna be running up on me, harassing me. I can't even walk outside with my baby. You putting your hands on me? That you can't be doing it. I don't care what we used to do or what we once had. When it's over, it's over. And she best be calling nine one one. Every time he do something, she need to be calling nine one one. Just like when that music was blaring and loud, instead of running out there telling him to cut it out and turn it down, she should have called nine one one. Cause you know Brad, old weak punk, and and he see her over there, he gonna jump to conclusions. Cause she's just so weak minded and simple minded. But anyway, when you you start lying, that's what happened. But when Natalie came up out that house, she said. <laughs> I done cut you once. That's what I'm saying. Natalie is that friend you always want to have. Honey, she came to Alex's rescue like a true boss. She was giving me life. <laughs> but you see, Randall didn't mess with her. He knew to bag back and get out of her doggone face. Did he not? <laughs> Thank you, Callie. He surely did. I'm glad to see Alex and Natalie back together. I am glad that Alex did has apologized to Natalie and did tell the truth that she shouldn't have let. She didn't tell Randall that Lucian was her baby daddy. Randall just associated a black man with a mixed baby and started saying it, and she just let him believe it. And she did apologize for letting 
random believe it and lead them on to believe it, however, whatnot, because it's kind of equal to the same thing anyway. But I'm glad to see them back uh, being friends because Alex needs some friends. Her and Mars the both. I feel sorry for the both of them because everybody in the situation just, it's a whole mess of situation. Anyway, <clears throat> I'd be glad when he and her are moving on in this neighborhood so he can see what, what all going on and, and find out how these folks really are so they, they, and, and all the craziness that he can witness it firsthand, especially with Randall because once he witnesses that he can, it, the legal advice will start pouring in then and both Marcy and Alex can get some justice against him. But I'm surprised somebody ain't done nothing to Randall yet. Ooh, ooh. So anyway, Martin, Marcy going to have dinner with Ian to celebrate the house closing. And guess who's sitting up in there? Whole Speranza sitting up in there with Steven. Mm-hmm. So, Whole Speranza going to try to say, oh, I just left work. And like Marcy said, <laughs> in that dress, <laughs> yeah. Host Marissa, come on. If you like Steven, say you like Steven. Don't try to put it on the whole Eddie thing because Eddie know about y'all. Stop trying to hide from your friends. You all up in their business want to know everything going on. Then you want to play Little Miss Perfect. I'm just so, I don't know. I don't like how this is written with her whole role because it's turning me off with her. I just think it, her situation could have been written better and been... I, ugh, more realistic to me. I just feel like, which just is realistic, but still... Ugh. He messing messing her up for me. I don't just he need to change that. But anyway, she acting stupid as usual. And bless it, Steven's so doggone sweet. He he really trying to be serious about her and whatnot. And Steven can be real insensitive. Just like when she was over there, she went to him about Kelly. He and he gonna say dinner, dude. You gotta be more insensitive. You can't come off like a jerk like Eddie. What is wrong with the policemen? Now they are. They obviously all cannot be no jerks like this. Like really. So anyway, I'm hoping Marcy can sway Ian into helping Kelly because they have a little quick conversation about it and. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, I told y'all this in the other review, if anybody was going to get him that help Kelly, Marcy will be the one. And I really think she going to end up to get him, sway him in Kelly's favor. Because he already know that Kelly was a good person and she didn't do none of the stuff. It's just that the firm works for them. But see, Larry mentioned an action, so maybe they'll hire the firm. I meant fire the firm since Larry mentioned an action. Because he he got to be dead in the back of the truck. And so when they fire the firm, that means he can represent Kelly. Bum -ba -da -da. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to see how this goes. I can't wait to see. But anyway. um, Let's see what else happened. Other than Brad driving driving by, I think I mentioned it when Kelly went ran uh went over there to tell that food to turn that damn music down. This my thing. Them ain't the only neighbors. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. It's people all around them. She should have just let the other other neighbors go out there. That's what I'd have done. I wouldn't have went running out there. I'd have just let the other neighbors go out there. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I'd have done. So that's what she should have done. But anyway. That's all of this review. Be sure to give your girls a thumbs up. Hit the um, notification bell so you'll know when I upload any more reviews, hauls, mukbangs, any other kind of videos. Yep, I do some of everything. Be sure to share, subscribe, comment. And I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye.